Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing? It's Tuesday for you guys, Monday here. I edited our vlog earlier today, and I said previously that I hope your Monday is going great, and that you're working hard, and blah, blah, blah. And I had a hard time editing that. You know why? Because I'm not having <sighs> the most enjoyable Monday. Kind of having a little bit of a, just like an annoyed Monday. Anything to do with probably what our most recent vlogs have been about. I honestly don't know how to vlog about this because I just feel annoyed about some work stuff. I guess that's just the easiest way to say it. I do have to keep in mind that I am blessed with a great job when then I get to work from home and that is a good thing to remember, but right now it's just annoying. <laughs> and it's, it's, about, it's just about a freelance website and I've worked on it, I just haven't given it as much attention as I probably should have and so now I need to work harder on it. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, that aside. Also this week something happens on Saturday. I don't remember what it is. Something weird and slightly odd. I'm not one of those that gets depressed when they talk about their birthday. That's what we're talking about. It's my birthday. I'm, I'm weird in the fact that I don't want to talk about my birthday. Not because it creeps me out and makes me think that it's strange that I'm getting older. I don't want to talk about it because I don't like birthday attention. I don't know. That's the best way I can put it. Here's Anna. She's going to talk more about it, I think. Yes. So like he said, his birthday is Saturday. And I have known that his birthday is on March 4th since I've, I met you. We had a cat throw up on this shoe earlier today. Yeah. It's been a lovely day. Monday. He threw up. But I did get coffee today, so I'm going to make some coffee. That, that's, you need some coffee. Coffee <laughs> would be so beneficial to you right now. Go hey, for that. <laughs> your birthday. My birthday. Yeah. So Randy's birthday, Saturday. And I didn't even realize it was Saturday until yesterday or the day before that. Saturday. <laughs> so I realized a week and you know, a week in advance. But it snuck up on me this year and I feel like a super crummy wife because I love birthdays and it's my goal in life to make sure everyone feels loved on their birthday and I love birthdays and I love when people go out of their way to make me feel loved and so in my mind that's how everyone treats their birthday. We were talking about it this morning and I was trying to figure out, I was like, so what do you want to do on your special day? Like, I mean, I know we only have a week. I've dropped the ball and I only have a week left to really, well gosh, now we have like five days to plan something and make it special, but I think we could do it. Like, tell me what you wanted to do. And he was like, I don't do anything. I was like, but are you saying that now in this mindset that you have and you might change your mind like closer to your birthday? And so I should have actually really planned it today. But you, like, anyway, I was like, you know, are you saying that and you don't really mean it? <laughs> kind of deal and he really doesn't want to do a thing for his birthday and so he was trying to explain to me he doesn't like birthday attention and that blows me away and I I have no idea what that even means how could you not like birthday attention I think we're both having a hard time to be celebratory just with everything that's happened but birthdays are still a sweet and special thing and so if he really doesn't want to do anything for his birthday then I guess we won't do anything for his birthday but again I just I think it's his like emotions today that are really deciding that so I don't really believe him thoughts camera's about to die <laughs> but it's been blinking for my whole segment and it hasn't died yet so you still have time that means it's really about to die and we're back just like that with a brand new battery so you're not off the hook. Come I on. would rather people just got together and they had fun and we just didn't talk about the fact that it was my birthday. <laughs> we do this every year though. Like we do, and I don't you, like it. You do have friends. Though. Like we'd go to dinner with friends and, I don't and we've like done it. that for the last five years. I don't like it. I, I tell myself that we're just getting together and going out and not, there's no reason. It makes no sense to me whatsoever and I feel like you're probably alone in that mindset. But I love you in spite of this interesting mindset. What needs to happen is I need to share my birthday with someone because then I can direct my attention on you that. You do share. So we need to have a birthday party for Roland. I was about to say, That's Roland, it. it shares your birthday. It's your birthday party coming up. You're gonna have a fun birthday, okay? We're planning it right now. Do you want a birthday? You want a birthday party? Well, let's talk cakes. 
what kind of cake do you want? Hmm? You want a salmon cake? Or do you want some turkey cake? If we do this, I'm not sharing cakes with Rowan. <laughs> no. You said a joint party, so you get a salmon birthday cake too. Well, we gotta go, Rowan. Sorry. <laughs> or a salvery um, gravy and turkey cake. Yum. I can probably even make it shaped like a fish. He would love that. Meow. Anyway. I don't even know what to do with that information, honestly. <laughs> that he doesn't want to do anything for his birthday. Because that is the opposite of me. But I'm going to honor his wishes. And if he doesn't want to plan anything special, then we won't plan anything special. I just don't want him to regret it, you know? But it doesn't sound like he will. I saw my time hop today that I had two years ago. At this point, I'd already had like all of Randy's gifts for his birthday. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, darn. Like I even, I mean I just looked at the calendar two days ago and I realized it was this week. So I'm super behind and I don't know what to get him and I'm feeling stressed out about it and like I've dropped the wife ball and I don't want to use the excuse of what happened to us and <laughs> that we've been dealing with a lot as an excuse because that's not fair because I've known <laughs> March 4th was approaching. I do feel guilty and like I've <sighs> Like a failed wife. So I have like five days to figure out what to get him. And I want it to be a special and meaningful gift. Especially if he doesn't even want to celebrate. <laughs> so I want it, that part to be special. Anyway. Just thoughts. Just sharing my thoughts with you. Really. It's a very cloudy day. See? Very dreary. Very cloudy. But it's not actually raining yet. Okay, so birthday is aside. This new coffee that I just got in the mail today. I ordered it from Creamico. And check this out. Old Soul Coffee, Fazenda Alta Vista, milk, chocolate, pecan, and citrus. Citrus. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes pretty good. I just had a cup. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna have another cup because I'm feeling energetic. I'm feeling motivated. I'm going to kick this work in the patootie. I've already kicked some work in the patootie. I'm gonna kick more patootie. And if you have a patootie, don't bring it in here because it's gonna be kicked, okay? So, I'm, ah, I dropped it. This stuff I ordered from my friends at Creamico, I love Creamico, using them. Matt is the one who introduced me to Creamico. His friend named Tyler actually owns the business, I believe, or founded or started the business. I'm gonna put a link down in the description. You can go check it out and sign up for Creamico. It's a subscription coffee service, but you get to choose different roasters and things, and then you get to like say, I like this one, didn't like this one, and they're all like, really high quality stuff like coffee snob stuff so don't even you can go check it out go click and check it out but like need not apply person unless thou art coffee snob just saying just saying however if you do sign up and you use my link i think you like get me free coffee or something so thank you you're awesome you're awesome i'm gonna make my coffee now and there she be doesn't she look delicious black coffee for those of you who may be new to our channel, I am indeed a true coffee snob. I love pour over coffee. My personal favorite at home is the AeroPress. I love using this thing for quick little coffee. And then of course, you have to use the Chemex if you're wanting to get more than one quick cup. I've got my water kettle, my electric burr grinder, which Anna gave me for Christmas, which I love so much. I think it's amazing. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. AeroPress stuff. I Chemex already showed you that. One of my favorite mugs. Got my coffee stuff in this little thing right there. Whoa, I just broke something. And above it are my coffee mugs in there. But honestly, a lot of them are in the dishwasher, so I'm not even going to bother opening that. Just to catch you up, if you're new to our channel, you don't know how much of a coffee snob I am. I am a very big coffee snob, and right now I'm making a little bit of an energetic coffee snob because I've had coffee, and now I shall have some more. <laughs> The day has come to a close, work was done, and it feels good to have it uh, done. But the thing about work is there's always more. But it is exciting getting closer to completion on projects. Um, hello, what are you doing on the counter? You are knocking those roses around with your tail like crazy. I don't think that these roses are doing that hot. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's time to throw them away. Rue will just keep batting them with her tail though. <laughs> You're being so sweet. So yeah, it's a lot later in the night, but like I said, I did work some today. Probably not as productive as I could have been, should have been. It's a Monday. <laughs> Ugh. 
I don't know what we're gonna do for my birthday. I know I kept making a big deal about it earlier and not doing anything big or anything, but even if we just end up going out with a few friends for dinner um, one night, and then I would like, and we've talked about this, me and Anna going out on a date night too. That would be fun. So I think we're gonna end the vlog. Let me know down below, do you like big party celebrations for yours, uh, for your birthday? Or do you like it just being small? Hope you guys have enjoyed your ride. We'll talk to you guys very soon. We love you guys. God bless.